Hey guys, Cam here from today's iPhone.com and I'm really excited because Fantastical 2 has finally arrived on the iPad. Now, it's not a universal download, you will need to download it separately. It is a brand new app and it's been optimized to work on the iPad and all the generations that work with iOS 7. Now, this is a first look. It's available at the moment for $9.99 or £6.99 in the UK, but that is a limited time promotion. Now, when you first start it up, I'm looking at this for the first time, so I'm going to be exploring it while you're watching this, and we'll see what there is. Fantastical would like to access your calendar, so you need to access those permissions, allow the permissions for reminders as well. It will use reminders, and it wants to use your contacts, and that should be enough. Now, when you open it up, you will get a basic tutorial, so if you want to swipe down on the day ticker, then you switch to the week calendar. And then if you swipe down again or tap the arrow, it opens it up as a full screen. But if you want to close the full screen, you can swipe up or tap the arrow again. If you want to return to the day ticker, you simply drag it back up. And this is probably the user interface that you're familiar with if you've used it on the iPhone. You've got the day ticker on the top and then the rest on the bottom. And you can tap the month in the red title bar to start using Fantastical. And this is what you'll see on the right-hand corner here. You've got a really big month view. On the left-hand side, you've got all your events. And as you scroll up and down, you will notice that the day ticker moves with it so that you're on the same day. And if you want to go back, I guess you just tap the top red bar again. It'll take you straight back to today. Now you can search for various events. For instance, here you can search by title, you can search by location, you can search by invitees, or you can search by anything you like. Now to add, you simply type, and because it's got natural language like the Fantastical app for iPhone, you can simply type something like coffee on Friday at Starbucks with Eloise and you'll notice that it's added all the details in if I click details here you will see that it actually has it there as all day you can actually type in the date as you're doing the natural language you can actually type in the time that you're meeting or the time that you're scheduling anything so that will show up as well that's really cool uh, I can discard the events because I'm not actually having coffee on Friday. Um, let's go into the settings and see what's in here. Now you have calendars, you can change which ones you've got, um, which ones you want to view. You've got time zone support which you can switch on and it will automatically detect your current time zone. You've got an app icon badge um, and you can set that for various things whether that's the remaining items for today or today's remaining events or just for the reminders for today or all incomplete reminders, all overdue reminders, current date or current calendar week. You can highlight the weekends and you can change it to a light theme so you haven't got it all black all over your screen. Default alerts, you've got timed events, all day events and all day alert time. Um, there's all sorts of settings in here, you've got default duration. So when you go to type an event and you just say the time that it's going to start, it will automatically suggest that your meeting is going to last for an hour. You can also change your default calendar. You can enable reminders and all sorts of other things like organizing by lists or adding lists. And then you can start your week on a Monday and you can show calendar weeks as well or show all empty days as you can with the iPhone app. Now the great thing about this is that it's got reminders built in, so if I hit the check arrow in the top you can see all your reminders that you've got left to use. Now you don't have to touch, you don't have to press the icon in the top left, you can also just swipe from the left to the right and you'll see the reminders will come up and you can show the completed ones or you can hide them. And this will work with your reminders app, it, it kind of works in conjunction with that, so you don't actually have to use your reminders app at all. You can set events and reminders all from within Fantastical. Now one of the other settings that you can do is that any links that open up in here, you can change where the links open in. So you can open it in one passwords, one browser, or you can have it in Safari. I'm guessing if you had other browsers installed, you could 
use those as well. You can change the location so that they open in Maps or if you prefer Google Maps if you've got that installed you can select Google Maps as well and notification alerts you can switch them on or off. And that is pretty much an overview of Fantastical. In terms of user interface it's beautiful, it's minimal, you can have it in dark or light theme. Uh, it's really really nice and it reminds me a lot of the iPhone app. In terms of adding events and for reminders and all that sort of stuff, it is great. And there's a reason why it's called Fantastic Hal, because it really is nice in almost every way. Now, whether it's going to replace Sunrise Calendar is another thing entirely, because Sunrise Calendar does a lot of the same stuff. In my eyes, it, it has a lot more useful information and more visual information on there. Granted, it doesn't work with reminders like Fantastic Hal does, but then it's free. It doesn't cost you $10. And this will eventually go up to $15 or £10 in the UK once the promotional period has finished. So, you need to decide for yourself whether you think Fantastic Isle is worth the money or if you're just going to use Sunrise Calendar, which I've been using the last few months. Anyway, that's been a first look. I'm Cam. I'm at TIP underscore Cam on Twitter. And I'll see you again soon.